Hello everybody, welcome back to Digimon. Last time we left off, turns out certain somebody was the bad guy all along. And also I broke the stream ending it a little early than I, earlier than I intended to. So that's why we're here. <laughs> But it'll be fine. Yes? Is the stream working? Hang on. Let me just make sure that the stream is working. Yeah, we should be good. Oops. Didn't intend to do that. One moment. Okay, I am back. Uh, apologies for that. Uh, okay. So, there are some adjustments we need to make. Because this fight is irritating. I'm back. Hey, Nikki. Uh, this... I need to make some adjustments. I'm gonna... Let's do this. Yes. Uh, blah, blah. Do you have anything that is useful right now? No? Probably not. Um, yeah. Okay. Losing my mind, but that's fine. Let's remove this and replace it with this because I need you to go first. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, go, let's go. Yeah, I am back and fighting probably the most annoying boss in this game. Very irritating. Hopefully, we can do this this time. Here we go. And I don't think there's a way to skip cutscenes. Huh? This is K Cafe in Akamo? Yeah, looks just like the real world, but it's a simulation. We're still on K server. Not the final boss, just the most annoying one. That's horrible, simulating a special place like this. Gasp! Person, bad guy we've been hunting this whole time. You get it now? Ah, oh, there he is. I'm Kay. The one who stole your account was your best friend, you. Yeah, imagine being hacked by your best friend. But that's not the whole story. Person! What are you doing? At first, all I wanted was your avatar. Uh, simulation was fine. I just wanted to be near something that looked like you. Creepy. Why do you do this? But after a while, it wasn't enough. I started to feel like I needed the real thing. 
Mm. No, thank you. So I created enemies. Akira Hosaka and then Kei. If I could save you from them, if we could beat them together, I thought you'd start depending on me. I thought you'd be my best friend, my ally, my vanguard. So then, everything up till now, it's all been just a performance on your part? Do you think it was foolish? You do, don't you? But how could I tell you the truth? How could I tell you how I really felt? That I was no longer satisfied with just being your close friend. And then I finally understood. The voice told me. You'd never really stand by my side, would you? After all, the truth is that even you were making fun of me. Just like them. Um, that's why you didn't go with me, right? You only go with them, don't you? Dude's got issues. But just like them, like those little life creeps that look down at me. The only difference is that instead of violence for you, it's pity. So then the only thing I could do was become so strong that no one would make fun of me again. Yeah, strength doesn't solve your problems, though. And then a miracle happened. I was able to use Kay's power, even in the real world. By using your account, I became you. The most ideal version of you. The you that's the strongest hacker in Eden. Finally, you would be with me. Now no one can beat me. For you, I became the vanguard. Yeah. More like you became something's puppet. We're gonna get you out of this, buddy. I promise. Get back. I speak for you now, remember? Yeah. Don't ever trust masks. Especially ones that speak to you. If you find a mask and it's talking, throw it into the nearest pit. This is all the eye you wanted, right? This is the eye you wanted to become? Joyce. Now I have become me. But the outfit's cool. It's the villain outfit is cool. But that's just me. Is that the name of somebody? It's Fethris. It's he's named after one of the dragon students. The the one on that you drew for the book two's cover. Although this guy is considerably less fun to look at. Fenris kind of reminds me of Norse mythologi mythology and the giant dog monster. It's okay. We're good. Eek! His face! It's gone! Get him. He's nothing more than a worm who lost his mind between self-loathing and hero worship. This type of friendship sickened me. But he was the perfect exhibit to my sideshow. He swallowed everything I told him, and gradually I broke his will. And now it's my turn to break you! What confidence. Pretty good! I just finished episode 75 about a couple days ago. So we- sh and we're getting into the final, like, event of this book, and then it's gonna be a couple of wrap-up episodes. So we're on schedule from the time that I told you for the- the current plan. So, so far it's looking good and it should be ready to go in a couple more months for me to get the final numbers for, you know, how many pages it's gonna be and so I can get you the final measurements for, like, the spine and stuff. So, I mean, yes, there's a little bit of wiggle room if something goes wrong, but that should be. Big asterisk. <laughs> That's why he searched so desperately for ways to gain your attention. He didn't have to try so hard. 
but it backfired. And so it was Huddy that earned all the glory. Uh, let's, let's do something real quick. Um, uh, no. Nope, I don't have that button. Terrible person who we're going to ruin. Blah, 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 blah. We saw all of this last night. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're grumpy. I'm angrier. I have. I'm stronger than you. You're gonna die. Blah blah blah. I was more into this last night when we first saw this cutscene, and before I broke the stream. <laughs> it's fine. Now do you see why this boss is annoying? I don't know who's like, yeah, let's have a boss that spams confusion, basically. That's... Utter nonsense. Also, he's self-healing, so, yeah. Triple extra fun. Just have to wait till I have a turn. Nikki, how's your day? Oh, finally. Okay. I have a pot of tea sitting here next to me, so, you know, good times. have this. Suffer. Well, everyone's basically good. Got him. Okay. Um, uh, okay. 
please, please, please. Okay. 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 I can do this. Everything is going according to plan. Oh. Heal everybody. <laughs> Suffer. Yeah, yeah. Please kill him. Please, please, please. Yes! Uh, victory and vengeance! <laughs> I hope it was painful. It's over. Thankfully. Erika, Erika, you saw that, didn't you? Looks like that Digimon was inside the mask. It's an evil program designed to control people. That's how it did that to him. His vulnerable heart was twisted even more by this mask Digimon. He lost his mind, and in the end, even his body was taken over. Hmm. Just like for Yuji and Arcadiamon. Mm. The one you wanted to see. The one he wanted to be seen as. I don't know which one is the real one. It's not just him. You two. Me too. We're all like that. But... Can't they all be real? Do we all just have to be... Do we all have to be just one thing? Okay, but can we go check on him, please? You... You okay, buddy? Speak to me. Arthurus... Beat him, huh? My... Yeah. I just picked it up somewhere. That mask. I found it by accident in Kulun. When I put it on, I felt so strong. Uh, my hacking skill, even my thinking. I was like another person. That's how I got mixed up with Zaxxon. I thought it was all my own power. But I was wrong. Everything I was able to do was K. It was all due to that mask. We'll get you an actual proper partner Digimon and everything will be fine. I promise. Hmm. Everything he said is true. At some point, I just everything he told me and I couldn't control myself anymore. Hmm. But you forgive me, don't you? Yes, I do. Thanks. But that's exactly what it is about you that made it such agony for me. Say it. Tell me you hate me. Tell me you never want to see me again. No. I refuse to lie that way. I, I refuse to spout such lies. Okay, have fun. Bye. 
sick of you, and I'm sick of how perfect you always are. You know how Lord makes me feel every time you show pity on me like that. Do you know? I'm sorry. Please, please don't leave. I can never be strong. I can never match up to anyone. No one will ever pick me. I would! I would if the game let me. But it won't, because it's mean. Aww. There's nothing weak about you. Haven't you been by my side the whole time? Hey, I love you. Because the game refuses to give to, to let me do this, and I would in a heartbeat, but the game's just like, no, no, you're not allowed to have this person as a romantic option. No. What the one game, the one game where I would actually make choice romantic option choices is the one game I don't get to have them. <sighs> yeah. I hate this. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just throw it out there? <sighs> What's that? You. You're such a... Such a fool. I'd be lying if I didn't admit it was a shock. The way you betrayed me. But I realize something. It's harder to choose than to be chosen. If your choice goes wrong, people laugh. They say you chose wrong. They don't know how much courage it took to make that choice. I was the one who thought no one would ever choose him. But boring, average me, you killed that me. So I told him the truth. Thanks, I said. You chose me over lots of other people. It may be a strange way of saying it, but if you hadn't chosen me, I wouldn't even be in Huddy. So that's why it's my turn to live up so now it's my turn to live up to that choice. That's why I'm going back. I'm going to my new place. To that place. <sighs> You can have new friends and still keep your old friends in your life. Just as an aside. Yeah. Genki. You look really down. Uh. Yeah. Things are not great right now. Are you thinking about your friend, you? Yes. I can't believe it. Could your friend be a criminal? I, I think we're all criminals, technically speaking. I, I think there's, I think we've all broken at least one law recently. And we never did find Ryuji. Oh, sorry, I... Take this. Modified sticky net. Dude, why? What are you doing? Huh? Sorry about that. You were so happy when Erica hits you. I thought I might cheer you up if I attacked you. That's not healthy. That, that's not even like vaguely healthy. Like that's not not that's not okay. Ugh. You're ridiculous. But my modified sticky neck doesn't smell bad like the normal one. It's got a relaxing smell. Do you feel better now? Uh, no. Not really. Why would that work? <laughs> oh, It doesn't look like I helped. Humans are so hard to understand. Look, it's... People are more complicated than that. Hey, listen up. Uh, what now? Watching you made me think hackers are so cool. Uh, were you not paying attention? 
so I want to be a Haku Digimon. Uh, uh, yeah, you kind of already are. Where have you been the past, like, ten chapters? Uh, what? Never heard of a Digimon being a hacker? Wouldn't it be really cool? Erika and I share memories, so I'm pretty good at hacking now. My goal is to take over from your friend and the new Vanguard. Are, are we forgetting the part where that ended really badly? What? <laughs> it's just like you said. Become the Vanguard. The hacker of justice. That's... So many problems with this. Yeah, and he was also possessed when spouting that nonsense, so maybe think about that more carefully? Your friend went crazy because of a Digimon. You may have gone about it the wrong way, but that dream is pretty awesome. So that's why I would have become the Vanguard and do lots of good things. Um... Yeah. If you do that, it'll prove that not everything you and your friend did was a mistake. Wow. So you're just gonna rope me into this? I... Remon. Remon, no. I, if I become a great hacker, Ryuji will be able to join Honey as one of my hackers, even if I can't return to the digital world. Two birds with one stone, right? I... I don't think that's how that works, no. I... I have doubts. Remon as... Remon's as enthusiastic as always. It's actually cheered me up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Well, you have fun with that, buddy. Mm. By the way, Erica called us. She wants us to go to her room. Yeah, okay. <sighs> Nothing better to do. Why are you all sticky? And what's that? What? And what's that weird smell? Blame your Digimon, since you taught it. It's you taught him to do that. Whatever it is, just don't get my room dirty. If you get that sticky stuff on my Memeton, I'll delete the hair from your avatar. Then I'll pixelate you and make sure you never you can never sit foot in public ever again. Uh oh, well, good thing we have a backup one now. You look fine. I thought you were much more depressed. I'm still upset. Towers is still upset by this. But you look ready for action. Do I? I'm pretty sure I had the same blank look in my face I've had this entire game. I finally analyzed the paper that Akemi Sueto gave me. Mm. Yeah, because research materials from the bad man is not going to go poorly at all. I'm just entering the necessary data into the terminal. We'll start when I'm done. We're going to help Jitose next. Uh, how exactly are we going to do that? After reading the information from Suedo, I finally know what happened to, G to Jitose. His mental data has been assimilated by an eater. Uh, okay. Take a look at this. It's Suedo's, it's Suedo's paper about eaters. Um... You don't understand it, do you? I know. Everything you've been talking about over this guy's head this entire time. Basically, leaders act like data gathering devices. Collect data and send it somewhere. That's their main behavioral pattern. Eden syndrome results from an error that occurs when a human's mental data that has been converted in into information is absorbed by an eater. The mental data is then sent via the Eater network to the core Mother Eater in the digital world. That's what his paper says. In the digital world? So if we can get Jitose's mental data back in there, he'll wake up! If we can believe what Sueda's written, that is. I don't know Sueda's objective, but I'll use any information that will help get Jitose back. There's not much we can do without him. But I can't believe Erika. Hmm. Okay, I understand. Let's do it. In this case, I'm willing to trust Suedo. I'm not. I'm vehemently against any plan that involves trusting him. 
I do what we usually would say at a time like this. Being a hacker is all about taking risks. That was a terrible impression. How was it? Did I say it just like it? Not even close. Come on! It was actually painful to hear. Oh. <laughs> um. So let's get the show on the road. First, we need to find a route to the Mother Eater. A route? It's like you said when we first met. There's a place in Eden that's connected to the digital world. That's where you fell from. I'm certain it's a junction between Eden and the digital world. You can use it as a route to the Mother Eater. For a moment there, I was afraid we'd have to make our own route. That sounds much easier. We follow the Eater network back. We should... We should get direct access to the Mother Eater. Great! Is that what the witness paper says? No, this is my idea. He wrote about a different way of getting to the Mother Eater. But I couldn't decipher it. That's probably for the best. Do you remember where the junction is? Er, uh, hold on. It's been a while since I used this memory. I fell into the world when I was really small, so my memory isn't very clear. But I vaguely remember a big stuffed toy. The place looked like a park. Persona 4! Yeah! That's the place! That's the place I fell into this world! Now let's go to Junk Plaza! This is so exciting! It's maybe a friend for the lair of the evil monster. That's just the kind of treacherous mitches that calls for a hacker Digimon. Hey, Young Chitosei! We're on the Vanguard is coming for you! A Digimon? Hacker Digimon? It's a Vanguard. Why is he so excited? I'm kind of annoyed that my main character's main motivation has been re kind of relegated to side plot territory. I just hope he doesn't tire himself out too soon. He seems to be getting more and more clumsy ever since he came to this world. Boy, I hope none of that was important. See what I mean? Anyway, I'll see you at Junk Plaza. <sighs> Rescue and return. Have to step away for a quick moment.
Okay, I have returned. <sighs> okay. Now, before we do next plot, I, there's, there's a thing I want to go do. Double check something real quick. don't need to, but I want to for my own personal gratification. Because this quest drops something that I want. It's going to be a group battle. I feel I I'd feel better if I had some company. Who should I take? Hmm. Without you, I wouldn't even be here. You bet I'll do it. We just need to beat the enemy leader, right? Hee <laughs> hee. They're, they're no match for you and me. A side quest. Mm. Where am I? I'm not in the mood to deal with this. So we're gonna kill this, then I'm gonna turn random encounters off. Okay. Hang on. Just mm. more organized. frequently with this game. Okay. Oh, oh, high security. Oh, I can't turn them off completely. But that's fine. Box stuff. Take these. This is mine now. Fight me. Got it, Jeffrey. I don't care. Okay. 
They win. Well done. Let's do stupid damage. <laughs> You're accepting your defeat with grace. Mm. Yeah, I think that means I have to push buttons. Okay. I remember how to play this game, I promise. my way. Yes. Need. Well, don't need, but I want. Mm -hmm. This one. Okay. That's done. Now I just need to fight the boss. And I have what I want. You're up, buddy. Bring it. Fight me. Yes. Aww. You think you're scary. Mm. Hello, old friends. Yes, these two are why I'm here. Because I want them on my side. Huh. Let it be known that I'm a very sentimental person. Not really an urge I can do my about. Slash. Just gonna go after both of them. Hey, rude. Thank <laughs> you. 
Let's go. That's fine. Heels. Brilliant effort. That's fine. Keep hitting them until they fall over. Let's go. Ah, rude. Suffer my adorable ass. He will die. It's fine. And heal. There you go. Okay, so we're gonna kill him next. So he's gonna die. That's really easy. Let's just be sure. <laughs> yeah. Victory. Yeah, we're good. And if one dead, and that's less healing I have to do. Yeah. Unnecessary, but thank you. Just keep going. Yes. Well, that's fun. for you. That's very useful. That's rock. Take a bath. Puppy smelly. Anyway. Mm. Yep, got exactly what I came here for. How is his plans? Hmm. Oh, crap. No, I don't care. Is that all for today? That was a piece of cake. Maybe it's because I've been, I was in such good form? Hee <laughs> hee. Thanks to you, the medicine made me feel really powerful. I feel much more energetic than I was as than, than when I was a Togemon. I still have so much power left. I'm ready. I'm ready to fight another battle. You can help me fight. Help me with lots more cases. I'm up for that. Can I help with your next case? I owe you. I want to help as much as I can. 
Fighting with you has made me realize that you're not just strong, but kind as well. If you make a mistake in battle, you're right there to help. And you're so nice to your Digimon. Your Digimon are so lucky, because you're so kind to them. They put as hard as they can for you. You're strong because you're kind. It's an amazing relationship. Oh, listen to me going on like that. I should get back. You can have this if you want. I found it just now. I'm sure you'll find it useful. Ooh. Ooh. Tell me again, okay? Uh, I probably won't because I don't intend to do too many more side quests. But that one had some stuff I really wanted. So, yeah. Again, those are those of you who might be familiar with the frontier season of Digimon probably know where I'm going with this. Yeah, yeah. Can't do that. Okay. Well, we're gonna make tough decisions is what we're gonna do. Because so you get into this thing. A lot more work. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do you here. And that should give us enough breathing room, at least in theory, to do what I want. Okay, well you need level 30 and 130 attack. 120 attack. Okay, apologies. So a few more levels. But that's fine. And you need one more level. Actually, do I have any... Oh, that's useful. Let's use that. This. This is what I want. Boop. Nope, not, not quite enough. That's fine. Let's check in here. Okay. Check over here. Are any of these open? Yeah, these are open. But I'm particularly inclined. Not at the moment, though. I think we're good. So let's check. Let me check your stats real quick. Mm -hmm. Pretty close. Should be next fight then. Okay. Let's go onward. Junk Plaza. Actually, no, that's something we need to check real quick. Here, huh? Maybe through those TVs? I'm sure of it. I can't see anything that looks like a junction, but I know this is the right place. Connection might be too unstable to see. Hold on, I'll try stabilizing the values. Beep boop, beep boop. Oh dear. Yeah, that looks like a cold reality. Oh, I think we found it! Oh, there it is! The whole way fell through. It worked. 
Looks like the link to the Mother Eater has been activated as well. How did you do that, Erica? So this paper gave values for the approximate location of the Mother Eater. I just tried connecting to them. It's just like opening a back door. Uh, am I the only one who's mildly concerned about how easy this is? You won't be able to get back to the digital world through this hole. I'm using the Eater network to force it open, so it's impossible. There's no guarantee it will lead us to the Mother Eater. I see. But if this method can be improved, it might one it may one day be possible to make a path to the digital world. Really? Yes. Oh, look how happy he is. Okay. This is it. Once we infiltrate the Eater network, we need to secure an Eater. I'll hack it and disguise this as Eater information. That way we won't be attacked even when we're close to the Mother Eater. That sounds dangerous. Leave it to me. If we get surrounded by Eaters, I'll hack them all. Alright. Or you'll run away screaming. You need to stay here and keep watch. Huh? Why? Someone needs to stand guard here. I'll show the procedure for controlling the route. I'm keep- I'm counting on you. But- but I want to save Chitose. I know, but you might not be ready for that yet. Huh? This is an extremely hazardous mission. Some very dangerous things could happen. Dangerous things? I thought you were the only one I could trust with this mission. But now we have Fethrus. If it's in me, Erica. Carol, I'm a hacker, Jijimon. I'm the future vanguard. I've got this. Hmm. Uh. Yeah. Sure. I don't know what will happen once we enter the Eater network. That's why I have to leave him behind. Ramon isn't exactly reliable. And then there's his clumsiness. But it's true I want someone to guard the entrance. Just in case. I'm relying on you. I know you wouldn't let me down, Vermon. Or should I say Van... What was it again? Vanguard, you can count on me. This is big. Erica's already starting to see he has a Vanguard. Like a small child. Hackers, Digimon, anyone, do your worst. I hope they come back soon. Aww. Baby. Spooky. I hope Wormon's okay. Did you hear what he was shouting as we left? Maybe leaving him there was a mistake. This is the Eater Network. Our avatar sensations seem the same as in Eden. There it is. Excellent timing. Beacon it. I use that chance to hack it. Uh, sure. Hit creepy thing really hard. Understand. It's okay. Boop, boop. Whack, whack. Splash. This isn't too bad. Oh, that was a mistake. That should do it. Now to steal its permissions. It worked! To them, we now appear as the inf to be the information they send to the Mother Eater. See? That Eater wasn't interested in us at all. Now we can get close to the Mother Eater. But it won't work on all Eaters. Some might still attack us, so stay alert. Okay. What's that?
Could that be human mental data? That's a lot of people. So that's what a normal person's mental data is like. Uh, never mind. But I don't know which is Jitose's data. Luckily, I brought this guy with me. Hey, look at who it is. Good to see you, buddy. You remember? It's Jitose's partner, Digimon. I hoped he would act as a, re a receptacle to draw out Jitose's mental data. Yeah, basically just telling an oversized dog to go find its owner. He knows Jitose's mental information better than anyone, so he might be able to find it. Yeah. We're looking for Jitose. Do you know where he is? Yeah. This way. Looks like he's in there. Let's go. Valiant effort. Don't you know this? Hmm. Hey, wait. Come at me. There we go. Oh, hello. Who's that in the distance? Friend? Who are you? Well, where is a familiar silhouette? Huh? Is that a person? I can't believe it. Never thought I'd see any normal mental data in this place. Um... You go from Zaxxon? <laughs> nope. I'm not him. I don't have anything to do with him. What do you mean? It's a little difficult to explain. And how exactly did you get here? Oh, uh, well... Oh, I see. You hacked an eater. You disguised yourself as eater information and infiltrated their network. I've never seen anyone get access like that. Although it's pretty much unheard of for anyone to reach this far. How is it that you're able to do it? So taking considerable processing power. Uh, yeah. Ah. So you are involved with Eden. How do you know that? Because I'm part of a giant data structure. I can always recognize someone like me. But I've been fully assimilated. My abilities are very limited. What are you? You can think of me as a guard. You protect the human mental data assimilated by the heat by the eaters so that they don't accidentally erase us. Mental data guards? Then please help us. Give us Jitose's data. We've come to get you, Tose Mai. Hmm. Sorry, but I can't help you. All I can do is protect the mental data to stop it from being erased. Mm. Once mental data has been separated from the body, it's impossible for them to be unified again. There's no way to identify one individual but the, mass, the vast sea of mental data. Even if we do find who you're looking for, you wouldn't be able to unify... Huh? The Digimon's just like, Papa! Could that be Chitose? Oh, a Digimon. I can feel a definite connection between him and that Digimon. Not quite friendship, but... Chitose's Digimon are very dear to him. He always spends a lot of time on maintenance. 
Yes, I've heard of such mutual trust. That digi this Digimon will take Jitose back. There's a major digital shift happening in Tokyo right now. Now the Digimon are appearing in the real world. Maybe this one can help return Chitose's mind to his body. In that case, there are no objections from me. Maybe being in the network for so long has made my thinking inflexible. If you believe it's possible, I have no right to stop you. You've risked a lot to come here. You can take him. Yeah. Do you have Eden Syndrome as well? Yes. I've had it for a long time. Patient Zero. I... I'm sorry, we... It's alright. I don't have a bond with partner Digimon. When I still had a body, I didn't even know Digimon existed. You might be the only one who can be saved by this method. It's rare to have such a strong bond with a Digimon. It's a significant physical burden. I... I accept my fate. Just like the other Eden Syndrome sufferers. Eek! Looks like they detected you as foreign objects when you access the mental data. There's nothing I can do. Get out of here! Run! No! Oh dear. Stay away! Huh? What are you doing? Save yourself! I'll be fine! Run, Mon! Erika! Shut down my server! Hurry! If I do that, it's fine! Just do it! Okay, I'll do it! Beep beep. Hurry! Huh? Get out of here! Erika's fine! Just go! Yeah, okay. I'm like sticking around here will do any good. Uh, ah! Yeah, I have to shift the tone. Uh, let me see. Press this and and this. Nope, bad touch. Go away. I did it, Erica. I did it. I'm an awesome hacker. Did you one? Okay, but where is she? It's okay. Erika's okay. She got away from the eaters. I think. I shut down her memory server. For a normal person, it's like a forced log out. Uh, I mean, it's better than the alternative. I've never done anything like that before. But her mental data is constantly linked to Eden. So we had to take that drastic step. You can't relax to wish your Erika's safe. Let's hurry back. Yeah. Because remember, Erica's contains a lot more data than the normal person. So them eating her could be catastrophic. Erica! Erica! Are you okay? Erica? Mm. Erica? Who are you? Oh boy. What do you mean, Erica? Erica? Is that... My name? Are you... A bug? I'm not a bug, I'm a Digimon. You are a bug Digimon. Put yourself together, I'm Mormon. You're Erica. Uh. Erica! Oh dear. Did she have lost her memory? Oh boy. It would be best to come back tomorrow. Okay, but what happened? I'm sorry. We don't know much about her condition yet. Though I heard it was caused when her link to the server was broken by a shutdown. Erika's dream is special. We have to be meticulous. And it will take time. I'm doing everything we can for her. <sighs> I don't there's anything we can do. It's times like these when I wish for Yuji was here. Hmm. Yeah. You're here too. You. 
Sueta? What are you doing here? Actually, I'm the one who developed the basic theory behind her treatment. Hmm. And you just conveniently left this pretty important piece of information out until now. You developed her treatment? That's right. Well, I just came up with the basic theory. I'm not involved in her actual treatment. I heard that there has been an unusual accident. The doctor in charge called me to take a look. So you know how to restore her memory? Looks like the link was broken when the memory server was shut down. Hmm. Tell me everything. Yeah. Hmm. So that's how it happened. She deciphered my paper and gained direct access to the Mother Eater. Fascinating. I never cease to be amazed by the creativity of youth. Although the conditions made it difficult, it's an effective way of accessing the Mother Eater. It seems that she underestimated the Eaters. And this is the result. To gain a fundamental understanding of the Eaters, you need to change your perspective. For example, by imagining you are an Eater. Yes, that's an excellent approach, even if I do say so myself. I must look into it. How about don't? Let's, let's not do that. Never mind all that, can Erika get her memory back? Of course it's possible, she has a backup device in her memory server. Even if the leak is broken, the device saves all her memories until just before the shutdown. The server contains a program that re-establishes the link when the server is booted. If you can activate it, her memories will be restored. Cool. But it won't be easy. To access the server externally, we'll need a team of highly skilled engineers. Then we have to help Ryuji as soon as possible. In that case, there is another way. We can infiltrate the server directly from Eden and activate the backup. Directly? Usually, as the owner, only Erika is allowed to access the memory server. However, you're a Wormmon, aren't you? I assume you and Erika share memories? What's more, your memories were unaffected when the memory server was shut down. Essentially, you were like another backup for Erika's memory. I'm a backup for Erika's memory? Might be able to access the server as if you were her. I see no reason why that shouldn't be the case. So if we get to the server and have to make the backup memory, Erika will wake up. Correct. Of course, the server is equipped with security measures to prevent intruders. There's no guarantee you'll make it back. Even so, we have to try. You'll come, won't you? Well, if you go, you'll probably just get yourself killed. Then please take my, pepper, my paper on memory service. Read it before you try and gain access. Thank you. You've done so much for Erica. Has he? Has anything he's done really been good? It's nothing, really. My papers do nothing more than illustrate the underlying theory. Unfortunately, the cure for a disease is nowhere to be found in this world. If you want my personal opinion, I don't think you should restore her memory. Uh, what? Why? <laughs> this is fate. Let me explain. This world is about to change. Drastically. Uh, have you seen outside? I think it already has. The strange phenomena affecting this world stems from a disaster in the digital world. It has caused a major digital shift in this world, making it possible to artificially overwrite it. Red flags, red flags, red flags. Even if you do nothing, Sadness will soon vanish. Completely. I will remake this world. Red flags. Once I've done so, all sadness will be gone. Or, more accurately, the concept will no longer exist. Yeah, and how much of humanity is going to disappear with it? The sadness that affects Erika afflicts Erika Mishima will also disappear. Uh, okay, but at what cost? I don't expect you to understand. It's not ex I, even I'm not exactly sure what's to happen once the world has been overridden. Then don't do it. Don't do it. Not worth the risks. 
Put simply, once my plan succeeds, everything you've done, and everything you will do, will become completely meaningless. No. No, that's dumb. This dumb idea. Uh, how about not? Let's not do that. That time has nearly come. If the world's about to change, what's the point in returning such painful memories to her? Just let her sleep in peace. She's forgotten all the sadness. Yeah, and she's forgotten everything else of Earth, too. That's not okay. So, do you still intend to wake her? Yes. Yes, I do. Because screw you. That's what I think. Erica's memories are still inside me. I can hear her voice. I won't leave her like this. I want to return Hari to Ryuji. Even if it's all for nothing, I still want to do everything I can. That's what Erica would say. Yeah. Screw you and your crazy plan. I know. I see. And are and are you of the same opinion? Yeah, you can piss off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's no denying the strength of the human ego. This is what drives me, after all. Yeah, and I hope it drives you right off a cliff, buddy. If you've made up your mind, I wish you luck. Here's the server URL. Hmm. She's in your hands now. Yeah. Why run when they know it's all pointless? Some things I will never understand. Yeah. Off a cliff, buddy. Or perhaps it's just human nature. Now it's time for me to go. It's time to make my wish come true. Hee <laughs> hee. Yeah. Wishes are not all they're cracked up to be. But first, us keeping. Look at this monstrosity. He's a good evil monstrosity. Maybe you can just stay in that form for a while. <laughs> it's your attack, yeah. That's fine. Okay. Forward. No. Mm. Yes. Here. This place. <sighs> Just a bit weird looking. This is Erica's memory server. According to the menu Suedo gave us, we can get inside if we access that terminal. Mm. Um. I know what we said to Suedo, but I'm worried. Do we really want to restore Erica's memory? Lately, her memories have been confused with mine. I don't know who's or who's. We have to. Yeah, you're right. I believe Erica's voice inside of me. Let's go. I don't know what it'll be like inside the server. Keep your wits about you. Yeah, okay.
hope I can save because I don't fully remember how this is gonna go. So I'm gonna be ready for just about anything. Boop, 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 boop. Forwards. This just got very trippy. Like a very, very trippy AMV in here. Somebody get some nightcore playing. Here you are. Erica? Not quite, I don't think. Huh? You said even and in the world? What is it? That's not what I was wearing in this second. How is Erica's memory? You remember? I'm Decay. On the server. I checked in the data box that looked like you. I was able to view his memory data. Maybe this is something like that. But with you, it was a false memory created by the Digimon controlling him. I think this is a virtual AI intentionally created by the Kamishiro engineers. Uh... Sure, we'll pretend that I'm following this. According to the manual Soedo gave us, when we extract the memory from the server, Erica can network with it in real time, just like an ordinary memory. When it's used, special processing kicks in and causes a period of strange seek time. That makes it impossible to extract information correctly and difficult to establish communication. In other words, to make the memory work properly, it's essential to have the structure and activity of a mind to serve as a mechanism. Virtual AI is the solution to that problem. It's an artificial representation of Erica's mind. You have not simplified the explanation, but alright. The server runs an, an AI modeled in Erica's thoughts to avoid seek time from happening. Do to do, I'm completely clueless. You didn't understand any of that, did you? Basically, it's like a mind that regulates Erica's memory. I don't know why you saw it in the real world. Maybe it has something to do with the digital shift. Yeah, probably. Anyway, let's keep going. Storing Erica's memory is our main priority. Let's find the backup memory. Yeah, okay. Very, very trippy AMV. The pack up memory from here. Hold on, I'll give it a try. Beep boop, beep beep boop. We did it! I should restore it because they put the server. Let's go to Vanguard now. Don't you agree? Hmm? What? There's a deeper area. Looks like a place where memories are moved to. 
Hmm. Hey, don't touch that. You don't know what's gonna happen. Oh look, it's a bit of real Vetris's curiosity leaking through. In the digital world, there's a river of data particles. In a beach where leaks are washed up. This guy has a frame around it. Amazing, right? Is that true? You could be lying for all I know. I would lie, it's all true. I lived there for so long. Hmm. So tell me more details. Then maybe I'll believe you. Okay, where should I start? Um. Um. Hmm? Hmm? It's finished. Maybe there's a viewing restriction. Uh... Yeah. Where are you going? Hey! You can't go any further! Did you forget where you are? It, like, can we, can we go now? That's restricted data. Those are memories Erica doesn't want anyone to know about. So you can't look. I share memories, but she told me I'm not allowed to look at those. Yeah, okay. Sure. That's what she wants. Why? Er... I don't know. Does it matter? It's her memories. If she doesn't want you seeing them, you don't have to. She's a girl. You know what teenagers are like. Do I? In case you can't look at them. Everyone has memories they want to keep secret. Hmm. Where's, where's, where's the option to respect her privacy? All of these are bad options. I hate all of these options. <sighs> no! I said no! I'll keep her secret safe! We're Mana's best friend. If you take a peek, I'll get mad. Okay. I'm glad you understand. Let's get back to Herika. I hope she's awake. I feel like I've glimpsed Rune Mon's dark side. I'll behave myself. Yeah, please. But I'm surprised. Why wouldn't you want anyone to know about when we were talking about the digital world? Hmm. Hmm. Erika, do you know who I am? For fun. Yay! Your memory is back! Do you remember Bethris? Yeah. Boot! Thank you for everything. Where's Chitose? I've been so busy, I'd forgotten about him. Let's take the Digimon to Chitose. I wonder where he is. Go and ask. Yeah, okay. On it. That's one person successfully rescued. For now. You're Erica's friend, aren't you? I suppose you could call us that. Do you know who her brother is? He's her only family. We're working on it. I need to contact him as soon as possible. Yeah, okay. Erica's condition doesn't look good. Eek. Please let him know if you find him. Hmm. Yes, save. Hmm. Hey, there he is. Chitose! Chitose! Hey! Welcome back! Yay! It worked! You really came through for me. Erika, you promised you'd go back to bed once you'd seen his face. Yeah. See you later. I get the feeling I've put you, through, you all through a lot of trouble. It's been very bad since you left. 
Ryuji's gonna kill me when he finds out. Uh, he's a little bit busy. How about that? Where is he, by the way? Um, there's something you should see. So something happened. Tell me what. Uh, yeah. That's a lot to take in after just waking up. I developed Eden Syndrome and Under Zero. UG used this mysterious Digimon against Zaxxon. Digimon are appearing in Tokyo because of some plan by Rie Kishibe. Now Ryuji's out there running amok with a Digimon. On top of all that, he went after Faye and destroyed Huddy. <laughs> How crazy that sounds. Uh, you can't be serious. Whoa! Erika seemed much better after seeing Faye. She fell asleep in no time. Are you a Wormon? The one Erika found in Kulu? Digimon in the real world. Is this really happening? Yeah, just let's go see your new friend. Yep, Yuji, the Digimon. It's all true. Come on, this is funny. So much has happened. I should have been there for her. Erika was sure you could stop Ryuji. That's why we were so determined to save you. You can't stop him. But she's certain he'll listen to you. I don't think that's very likely. I can't get through to him in under zero. There's no way he'll listen to me. You do realize that thinking you were gone forever made him snap. Perhaps seeing you okay will make him snap back. Don't be so negative. You're our only hope. Hmm. Wow. Looks like you've just woken up. Hey, doctors are saying it's a miracle. They've never seen anyone cured of Eden Syndrome. Yuka will be glad. But how did you do it? Oh, uh, well, you see, Feathers told me what Ryuji did, and how you protected Erika. Sorry about all this. You pretty much died because of our carelessness, so I'd say we're even now. Eh, I never thought I'd hear you say that. There's still a problem that needs to be fixed. Your leader. I heard he's still running a muck in Tokyo. He must be stopped. Yeah, yeah, he does. We gotta be some sense to him. Our hackers can't handle him, and I haven't recovered yet. You'll have to take care of him by yourselves. Yeah. This is a Huddy problem, and Huddy will deal with it. But I. Looks like it's up to you, Fethris. He's in no state to go anywhere. I'm coming too. We'll try to get through to Ryuji till Jitose is better. Sorry, but I have to leave Ryuji to you. Yeah, okay. Has he been running around like that for us all this time? Yeah, he's a good kid. You need to get your ass together. She's right. Ryuji and I both. This is the time to just lie down and sleep. Vanquished boy. Was Jitose okay? Yeah. He's better. You're looking for- you're going to look for Yuji, right? I get it. I can't move yet. So please, do what I can't. Yeah, sure. What is it? I saw that virtual AI from my memory server. In the real world? Probably would explain your dreams. Hmm. Weird things have been happening since I ported my memories to Eden. I remember places I've never actually been to. I've had- I have dreams of looking at sites I've never seen. Maybe my memories have started leaking out into cyberspace and roaming around. Uh, what? 
I mean to say that what you saw might have actually been, well, me. Look what's happened to Tokyo. The line between the virtual and real worlds is practically a blur. Whatever I am, whatever I am was vague to begin with. Now it's losing even more clarity. Um, my body may exist in reality, but the memories driving it have been digitized. What I'm feeling now, my memories with everyone, it's all part of an act of an accumulation of data. A dream that data shows me. I think the real me may not even exist in reality anymore. Uh, what? I mean, which was real for me to begin with? Eden or this world here? It's gone less and less clear. Like the butterfly dream. Uh. You're right here. Right now. That's all that really matters. I wish I was. Mm. No, I get it. I know this is where I am. Sometimes, I get so worried. Mm. I haven't checked the board lately. I'll use the PC and see if any cases have come in. Actually, I'm gonna, yeah, I'll do that. Pop it here. Right, we're, we're all content for now. Okay. I'm going to save. And I think I'm gonna call it for today. Yeah, so. We will be back with more Digimon some other day. Tomorrow I'll be doing a writing stream. And that's basically it. You want to check that out? You can come and say hi. If you want to wait to the next Digimon stream, it should be whenever it is after that. So, yeah. I'll see you all next time and have fun.